Hey guys, this is Gorax and today I present you a beginner's guide for VIP 1 up to VIP 7 players. This guide is for those of you that don't mind spending a couple of bucks on the game and wonder where to spend them. So let's, let's quickly uh, look at the VIP levels and what they give you. So the first VIP level requires you to buy 60 diamonds which is worth one pound and it unlocks you with uh, unlocks you free star fire world unit as well as giving you uh, two energy purchases per day and an additional one duel of champion. VIP level 2 requires you to purchase 300 diamonds which equals to about 5 pounds and it allows you to uh, lock onto one mastery of your hero which is quite important as well as purchasing energy three times which is two times 50 diamonds which is the, the highest you will want to spend for a while as well as a two times per day duel of the champions. Now, third, uh, VIP level 3 is something that I will recommend to everyone who wants to enjoy the game at its fullest because it gives you um, it gives you basically all the energy you want to buy, gives you all the uh, chances to jo uh, all the chances to do the duel of the champions per day, which basically means you you buy in a full game. And it costs you about 8 pounds to do so. Now VIP level 4 requires you to purchase a thousand diamonds and that equals to about uh, 15 pounds and the only benefits that are worth mentioning that change from VIP v 3 to 4 is you get more gold from the world and treasury every day that's 20 percent and also you can speed up barracks once per day which is quite easy which is quite important at the start of the game and, e and even later into the game as well. Now VIP 5 requires you to purchase 2000 diamonds which equals to around 30 pounds and it allows you to buy a privilege package that has an extra 100 shots of uh, Phoenix which um, Firebird which you can upgrade uh, quicker and also it allows you to rest dungeon chapters, chapters twice per day which is quite useful. V VIP 6 requires you to purchase 3000 diamonds which equals to about 45 pounds and it gives you quite nice benefits. The most important is you can lock two masteries on your heroes and you can unlock the six artifact slot in the artifact merchant quicker than everyone else. Now the last VIP level in this video will be VIP 7, which requires you to buy seven which requires you to buy five thousand diamonds, which equals to about seventy-five pounds. So if you purchase all that, you won't be able to get a faction leader because faction leaders are for ninety-nine pounds. So let's quickly talk where you should be spending your money. To get VIP level 3, which is, I recommend, you will need to spend nine, well, 10 pounds and you'll get to spend them on growth fund, which will give you 22.2 thousand diamonds, which is the best value once you hit level 80. It will give you diamonds on these level thresholds and it's still better than anything else, just like VIP uh, top up bonuses here. It's better than a monthly package, which gives you only 6.6 thousand diamonds. This is currently the best deal in the game. If you want to get to VIP 5, you should buy Growth Fund, as well as one premium card that will get you uh, a guaranteed SSI, a random SSI unit after 30 days and a lot of rewards, as well as a skin. There's a couple of these uh, cards available, so just choose the skin you would like to have. Now, due to new thing that they introduced at the end of month giveaway, you can actually have a special SI, a surplus unit if you want to get VIP 6. You can buy a growth fund plus a premium holiday unit special offer that costs you £14 and you can choose one of these LED units depending on the hero you want to run. I would recommend choosing um, Stone Elemental here. As Stone Elemental works well with uh, free-to-play heroes. Now, to get VIP 7, the best way to do so is to buy Holiday Hero Special Offer. It costs you £75, which gives you 5,000 diamonds, which is what you need to unlock uh, this VIP level. And you'll be able, you will have a chance to have one of the strongest heroes available in the game. However, I would not recommend getting Sandro or Dragon Mutare because uh, these heroes require a lot of uh, SR plus units to work as well. The heroes I would recommend getting here is Kilgore or um, Xeron. And 
if you think you'll spend more later into the game, after even a couple months, you could consider Astral as well. So what's the difference between this guide and a previous guide? Uh, well, basically, as a VIP level increases, you unlock more content in the game. Not everything is behind the paywall, but you'll have a lot of quality changes that will will feel great. For example, you will be able to uh, participate in Pantheon if you're uh, within 30, top 32 on your server. And the reason for that is you'll have a three extra ch chances here in a duel of a champions, which as you can see, I can't do it. And to, this will allow you to rank in top 32 on your server easily. And the rewards in Pantheon are quite good. If you can manage to get to top 8, you can get a free Black Knight. If you get to top 4, which will be hard for you, but it's still achievable, you can get Green Dragon. However, I suggest you will spend most of your uh, coins on Heaven Cast Stones. Getting higher VIP levels will also help you to level up quickly, which is quite important on the start of a new server, because uh, you want to get to a campaign on your first day of a server to get a free Titan uh, artifact. And as a free-to-play player, you can't do it, because you will be lower level. You can also buy uh, discounted items in a store at the start of the server, like a 10 case for, I believe, 1,200 diamonds instead of... 200 uh, instead of 2000 so it's quite a good deal and it will get you uh, this ssr unit quite uh, quicker and the most important thing if you buy hero faction leader hero at the end of the month for discounted price instead of 99 pounds you will be able to compete against uh, even vip 13 players as i said before uh, the faction leaders that i would suggest will be xeron and a couple others, so let's walk, let's talk about Xeron first. So this composition you could be running if you unlock Xeron. Basically, the only thing you'll need is Devil, so you need to save diamonds for a Devil Altar. Every other unit is easily obtainable uh, through the underground and other contents of the game. The only thing you could also uh, swap around is if you get Behemoth, you put Behemoth instead of the Imps. It is very cheap to get, as, uh, as Xeron doesn't require any SR Plus units, so you don't need to purchase any more after you unlock Xeron. The other good choice would be Kilgore. Sadly, I don't have Kilgore uh, myself. However, I can show you a formation that I would run if I had Kilgore. So you basically could still run Inferno and Stronghold, but if you manage to get uh, Angel, I'll change him with Devil, because with Kilgore you want to play a defense battle more than an uh, attack battle, because Kilgore is extremely good with healing. Now, if you're looking for a long-term hero, you will want to invest in Astral. I know people will say that Astral requires a lot of diamonds and a lot of SSR units. However, all of these units are obtainable through the game. You can even have a Genie from Guild Adventure after a couple of months, if you're lucky. So it's a long-term investment, but he is currently one of the strongest heroes. And if you're lucky, you can get Giant or you can get Naga from Altars. As well, you can get Giant from this uh, rank in top 4. And it is possible with VIP 7 if your server is not occupied by a lot of whales. However, I will not recommend rushing top 4 because it will drain a lot of your resources. And... It's not really worth it if you uh, are going to run uh, Kilgore or uh, Xeron, as you won't be using a giant. Another hero that is worth mentioning is Gem. She is going to be released somewhere in the future, hopefully soon, as she doesn't really need Druid to be uh, efficient, and it's very easy to get all the Ramparts units uh, that will work very well with her. Now the main difference bet between VIP 0 and the higher VIP levels is the uh, Pantheon, which is uh, top 32 people on your server, server qualify from Duel of the Champions. And to be there you'll need no, no one hero, but three strong heroes. So if you get a faction leader, he'll be one of your main heroes. However, you'll also want to focus on either Rashka, uh, Solmer or Jedi, these heroes will help you out in these uh, Pantheon fights. On top of the heroes, you'll also need 6 units per hero, so you'll need to focus on 18 units that will uh, be strong. 
I'll still suggest to go with Inferno and uh, Stronghold. It's very easy to get them uh, together. However, you also unlock Phoenix, so uh, Conflux becomes a good uh, thing to have. You'll also be able to unlock Stone Elemental, but it's gonna take you a couple months as well. The other good, the other good combina combination could be a Rampart and Stronghold if you're running Galu or if you're running a uh, Gem. And your third one for Solmir or Jedi should be either Castle with Tower. All of these units can be obtained through the game quite easily. And Solmir and Jedi will be a quite good addition to these units. Now as a higher VIP you'll also be tempted to spend more diamonds. Because you'll rank higher in the arena and you should not spend more diamonds that you get daily from the arena. So where you should be spending your diamonds, you should be buying 3 extra uh, chances in Duel of the Champions, which will cost you uh, 60 diamonds a day. You'll also want to top up energy twice for 50 diamonds, which will cost you 100 diamonds. You want to do it uh, to get to uh, level 70 uh, as soon as possible, so you'll unlock orange units and awakenings. This is basically where you should be spending your diamonds. However, at the start of the server, you want to spend 300 a day to get the extra experience. So what I would suggest is uh, buying this uh, premium gold reward package for your guildmates. On VIP level 2, it costs you only 49 diamonds. And it gives you 4 silver keys, which equals to about 800,000 uh, gold. And from these keys, you can get a quite a lot of useful stuff like... Uh, roster scrolls, resources, as well as unit tokens. Now, the other uh, 100 diamonds you will want to spend is on uh, underground. You want to use the extra movement available to get resources and other shots you can get as uh, you can get Ifriti, Vampires, uh, even uh, Cyclops from here. And it's very important to get as much uh, resources and unit tokens from the game at the beginning. Later on, you'll want to stop doing that. Once you get to a higher level, there's only a couple things you'll want to spend your 300 diamonds on if you want to spend them. Uh, the first thing will be uh, casting crystals. But once you get to level 70, you'll want to spend them in a spell prayer to boost your hero stats. This is going to be one of the biggest uh, boosts for your power after level 70. Now you'll be able, able to get around 10,000 free diamonds doing the story mode as well as climbing the arena. And uh, all these diamonds should go into an uh, artifact um, buying at the beginning of the server. It'll boost your power tremendously. However, you should be spending it smart. You should be only aiming for a hotspot that will benefit you. Me, for uh, my personal opinion, is I'll focus on a hotspot when there's a... Uh, titan uh, artifact and when there's a dragon uh, father one i wouldn't be uh, wasting my diamonds when there's something else also as i mentioned previously you'll be able to uh, buy discounted gold keys there's 10 of them and you'll buy them for half the price which is worth spending diamonds on because you want to unlock this ssr unit as quickly as possible if you don't want to push for top 4, you'll want to keep your diamonds for the Devil Altar or the SSI unit you'll need for your uh, designer leader champion, if you leader hero if you choose in one. Now maybe in the future I'll make a guide about how to rush top 4 without spending uh, millions of uh, diamonds as well as your thousand of pounds. Uh, I also like to mention my previous guide, guys. Uh, it's basically uh, tells you what units you should be focusing and stuff. It's worth uh, going through it, even if you're VIP 1.7, because it has good points as well. I didn't want to talk about the same points again. Uh, also, make sure you follow my roster guide. This will give you a lot of power boost. Uh, it's quite important to have your rosters optimized for your team. Uh, next Wednesday, I'll try to release a VIP 8 to 13 guide. I'm VIP 13 in here, as you can see, and uh, everyone above VIP 13 doesn't need a guide. These guys, uh, basically, you just buy whatever you want. Um, so next week, we'll have VIP 8 to 13, which will, which will mean you will have a faction 
leader as well as maybe a couple SR plus units. Um, if you guys want to talk, uh, if you want to ask questions, just join my Discord. I'm always available there. If I'm not, because uh, I'm at work, uh, some of other experienced players will help you out. We got a quite good community with over 150 members, so it's slowly growing. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on any guides or leaks or teasers as well as a new content information. I'll see you guys around. Stay safe. Bye.